okay students yesterday we were about to start our story laugh out loud the first lesson of main course book yesterday i also taught you what are the benefits of laughing loud or actually laughing regularly in this chapter we would have to read about a person who says that who knows everything and who can do the things better than anyone else read the first paragraph you never saw such a commotion up and down a house in your um, in all your life as when my uncle poser undertook to do a job actually the narrator of this story is narrating you he is telling you a story about his uncle whose name is actually uncle poser you know student focus here the narrator of the story is actually narrating you the story about a person whose name is uncle poser he is the narrator's uncle about him actually the narrator will narrate you the story so here now what we see is that whenever this person whose name is uncle poser does anything it always becomes such a disorder in the house you know pure ghar mein bhagdar jaisa mat jata hai whenever he does anything the word commotion means disorder uproar fuss that's what meaning is given in your book so you will look for that so you know whenever uncle poser does anything you know the you know there is always a commotion in whole in all house and you would never see you know such commotion with anyone else but uncle poja a picture would have come home from the frame makers and be standing in the dining room waiting to be put up and aunt poza would ask what was to be done with it and uncle poza would say so actually students what happens here is that you have to see a picture actually the frame maker had sent a picture to uncle poser's house you know a student focus here that who is a frame maker a frame maker is a person who makes the frame of photos someone who makes the frame of photos so that who that person is actually known as frame maker so a frame maker actually had sent a photo frame a picture had sent a picture what does a frame maker had sent to uncle poser's house you know a frame maker actually had sent a picture to uncle poser's house and the picture is actually right now standing in the dining room you know the picture has been kept in dining room and you know it the picture is actually waiting to be put in uh, put on its proper place you know actually the picture is right now the picture which uh, uh, you know who has sent the frame maker the picture which has been sent by frame maker is is right now standing in the dining room by you all know that we will have to hang it on a wall or we will have to place it somewhere else so actually the aunt poser who is the wife of uncle poser is asking to uncle poser that bear uh, we would keep this painting bear would bear, bear would be keep this picture so what does the uncle poser say that's what we will see here you know oh you leave that to me don't you any of you worry yourselves about that i will do all that so uncle poser is saying that you know where uh, this picture has to be placed you just leave this to me you know do you all do not think about this i will do it myself i will think and do what and where this picture is needed to be kept that's what uncle poser is saying so in simple words student uncle poser is saying that you know that you need not to worry where you have to put this uh picture i will actually do that everything so now let's see in the third paragraph and then he would take off his coat and what he do actually first you know before you start doing any thing you know which takes labor or which is a physical activity you generally you know takes off your clothes so he is also doing what <coughs> he has actually took off his coat and then he started to do the work 
what he would do he he would try to hang the picture on the wall or he would try to place it somewhere which is appropriate for the picture for the painting which frame maker had sent in their house how would he would send a girl out for six pence worth of nails and then one of the boys after her to tell her what size to get and from that he would gradually get the whole house walking first what uh, uncle poser do to place the picture first he will do that he has taken off his coat and then he had sent a girl out you know to fetch some nails a student look at here whenever you have to you know um, hang a picture on the wall you are needed to actually you know uh, you know um, hammer it on the wall with nails so you need nails for that so that is why uncle poser had sent a girl of his house to fetch some nails you know it means he, he had sent the girl to buy nails uh, which would be of six pence six pence is actually here a student you know the in currency uh, the money amount value you know the girl was sent with six pences to buy some nails and when the girl went out to buy the nails by taking six pence from uh, what is this man a mr poser then he sent a boy after the girl to tell the girl that what size of nail she has to buy so you know she doesn't she didn't tell the girl that she just gave the girl she just gave money to the girl and asked her you just go and fetch the nails but he didn't tell the girl that of what size uh, nail she has to bring so you know after that when when he remembers that he forget to actually tell the girl that what size of what size of nail she should she has to buy uh, for that he actually sent a boy after that to tell him that to tell the girls to tell the girl what size of uh, nail she has to buy and from that he would gradually get the whole house working and just in this way you know he almost made everyone start working is tarah se sabhi ko ghar ke jitne bhi sadasya hain all the members of the house is actually involved in the work because he doesn't do anything in proper order or he actually miss minds a lot with this incident a student you can say that this person miss mind at the main time his he forgets that what he should have said and what he shouldn't have said so he doesn't able to do anything at one time he need many person to do one job so he does everything with a commotion that's what you have um, seen in the first paragraph of the story so student um, it, it is looking like a very interesting story but you know we never have enough time when it comes to um no video in online teaching as it would not have been it is already would have been more than 10 minutes we cannot make long videos it's very difficult you know but still we are completing so you know we will complete actually tomorrow this story the laugh out loud 